Hey guys, Ranchin here, bringing you all another circle of commentary. This is gonna be the winner's match in Group B of the Ran32 of the HANA Dai2 MSL 2010 Spring Season. Also known as the Ranchin MSL, of course. This is gonna be a fighting spirit between Midas and Action! <laughs> oh man, it's, it is hilarious seeing Midas here. It is hilarious. He's gonna be at the upper left hand position as the red turn. We're gonna have Action at the bottom right hand position as the beige Zerg. I'm sorry, or is that white? Anyway, I think that's white. But anyway, I just I have to point in a laugh. Well, not right exactly point in a laugh, but I have to laugh out loud seeing Midas in this position, winning Flash and just very solidly beating him in a straight up TBT game. Great, great results from him so far. 38, 39, 40. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what he does. And of course, I I think I alongside most other StarCraft fans. We kind of root for the old school guys. We kind of root for them, you know. We might not expect much. Some of us just all flat out just, you know, whatever. If he loses, he loses, you know. Because if they put too much hopes in and then when they end up getting disappointed, um, you know, they feel like crap. So a good example. I think the primary example of this are Savior fans. Guys, they're still hoping that he'll come back. And, you know... Especially when Saber started the whole destroy everybody in 2009 thing, um, really got a lot of people going. Actually, going to start this off with a over pull, so we're going to see where Midas decides to go for what pretty much everybody's going for these days. Days one Rex into Expo, pretty safe build that everybody seems to go for. Here is getting his barracks up to start off, but this is Midas. He is Mr. Old School, so he might decide to switch up. A 2-Rex build, I think, is not overall too good on a 4-player map, especially one of this size. Particularly in this kind of position, there's a lot of, quite a decent amount of distance to cover between the two bases when they're in cross positions. But <laughs> just as I say this, Midas goes for 2-Rex build, so he is going old school. And I gotta say, though, on the opposite side, we do see action getting his hatchery going, his natural expo. I do gotta say that this might actually be a good idea by Midas in that... Action will not be, in most likelihood, will not be expecting this. Um, I suppose what Midas has going for him, he's, he's being very creative. He played very creatively against Flash, going for a very nice build that really countered what Flash went for, despite the fact that Midas had started off a little bit economically behind in that matchup. Action apparently popping all of his eggs into Zerg, so he's thinking of going and putting on some pressure. So definitely good in that regard for Midas is going to have two barracks worth of marines out there in time. He's, it's, this is going to delay his tech a little bit, but he is going to be able to get a sizable force out there pretty quickly. It is also going to delay his expansion a little bit, but when you play against a two-base Zerg, um, you can still hold off one base for quite a while. You might want to try to hurry your expansion, but at the very least, he's going to be able to plop down the command center onto high ground, then float it off. Uh, CV coming down there for Midas right across the middle. Five marines out there already going to be able to <laughs> to defend against these Zerglings easily, although I feel the Zerglings run off the ramp and spot every single one of those Marines. They are going to be re revealed, so I think Midas should actually force a few of his Marines back, but no, he's just going to reveal all four of them. He's actually going to move out. has five Marines. I thought he had five earlier, but six Marines now. He's going to move out, kind of force, at the very least, action to put down a sunken colony at this front. He has a SCV there, so he might actually threaten with a bunker there as well. Still producing something. Has Academy going right now. Going out with his five initial Marines. I don't think he's going to try to push this. He's going to move back with his SCV. don't think he's going to push this, but he might decide to put on some pressure. Just has to be very careful because when you have Marines out there with no stim, no medic support, they are fairly vulnerable. Actually, no, he's going to keep him back. Has a group of four running towards the 9 o'clock position while still four back home to defend. Is even more popping down on his ramp. Going to have medics coming out as well to support now, just waiting on the stim at the moment. But he's going to have a very sizable army very soon. So definitely going to have something to fight action with. Action, meanwhile, just did put down a creep colony at his natural expo just for the future, just in case. Does have a lair coming up. Yeah, two base, uh, two base, two hatch spire build. Of course, uh, action in response really wants to hurry up and get his mutas out, there, some mutas out there because Midas going to go for the aggressive action, going to get them comp stations going. He's going to go out there, and if action is not ready for this, he does not have that many forces in the ground. Does have some CV. He's going to put down two creep, co two sunken colonies at the front. But very, has a very, very small number of Zergs and then when Firebat's coming in to support as well. 
They're going to help absorb the hits from those sunken colonies and help take them out. There's going to be three sunken colonies at the front. We're going to see whether Ma Midas actually decides to go for this. This could be absolutely brilliant, all, uh, well, not really all, and br brilliant, aggressive maneuver that could win him the game. <laughs> Action, meanwhile, going to get a joking scout inside there. Is he going to go for it? He's waiting on Stim. He does Stim up. Is going to go for this. Medic's coming from the back. He's going to go for this right now, right before one second sunken colony moves in. He's going to be, be able to take that one second co sunken colony. Only very few Zergans to defend, but still only four Marines at this point. They are slowly dying to the sunken colony. These fire bats coming in. We're going to see whether they're going to be able to come in there at a critical time. Our fire bat actually stuck a little bit at the back, moving in right now as well. What third sunken colony going to go down momentarily? There's one more single colony. Going to come up. Drones trying to come off the line, trying to form into more sunken colonies. One fire bat and two Marines. But aren't they going to be able to take the final sunken colony down? They are stimming up like crazy. Aren't they going to be able to try to take this down? One Marine coming into support. Going to pick off the Zergan that comes from the back. More Zergans morphine. They instantly get melted. But Midas with one single Marine left. And heavily damaged. Going to be forced to push back. It's really aggressive this for him. Still more reinforcements coming. He's going to try to wait for this. Has more in the way. Does he have an eBay though? Because he's going to be facing up against Mutas very soon. And I really fear for him here. Because if the Mutas fly out and engage Midas... At his main, Midas is going to be in a lot of trouble. Still, still scanning that natural. Going to go for it here. Going to try to break the last second. Has five Marines to do this with. That sunken actually going to go down very quickly. But is he going to have enough to fight against the rest of this? He's going to be able to take down the natural expo. There are going to be mutilists coming out for him though. Already one single mutilist out there for action. Not a lot because he was forced to use minerals to get those sunken colonies up. His natural expo not mining now. So economy wise, not very, very strong position. Actually going to move out with the mutilists. Going to engage his Medic Greens. Medic Greens, however, six of them more than enough with Stim to engage this Mutalist. One Mutalist dies instantly. They cannot do enough damage to this Medic Greens. Okay, there were three Mutalists, but not nearly enough. Midas with more reinforcements coming in. And a GG from action! Midas! <laughs> oh, dear. oh, God. I can't stop laughing. Midas 2 oh he's good. Midas 2 owing his group. <laughs> oh, I say he's not going to go for two racks. He goes for two racks, run across the, runs across the ramp. And shuts, and shuts action down. Oh, God, Midas, I love you. I love you, you, you teddy bear guy. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, guys, it's going to take a little while. So... Flash has two TVZs to win if he wants to move out, which is actually going to be very likely that he'll manage to do because TVZ definitely is best matchup. But Midas definitely lucky that you, well, I, I don't even know how long ago it, since it's been that he's been in this position. But Midas going to move out of here, and dear God, am I excited for this to see what happens next, guys. GG, Wrenching Nathos listening. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> oh boy.